Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Men's Essentials. So, a couple of weeks ago I made a video about this travel size Duke Cannon Sawtooth Cologne. Um, it was, I was actually pretty excited to find something that's this size because it makes it easier to carry around, you know, with an EDC kit if you carry that in your pocket or in a work bag, um, even a gym bag, right? Instead of carrying out around a big bottle, of cologne carrying something small like this um, is just really convenient so since that video I started looking for other brands that make travel size cologne uh, sprays right uh, so I actually found out that Pro Rosso makes a travel size one in, in small packets of their yellow uh, amber and cedar cologne and, and Pro Rosso is one of my favorite brands um they make the best shaving cream ever in my opinion their original green shaving cream is just amazing and perfect and i love it uh, i made a video on Parasso shaving cream uh actually i've made about two of them about the history and the cream itself uh maybe last year so if you guys are interested in that go check it out but anyway, I was excited to find this uh, cologne, the packets anyway, from Pro Rosso. I had always been really curious about trying the cologne itself, but I hadn't gotten a chance. So trying them in small portions like this in a small packet is really a great way to try it out and see if you like it. So um, yeah, before I actually jump into the rest of the video, guys, I just want to remind you that on this channel, I make video or I make videos about men, what I like to call our men's essentials. So grooming products like Pro Rosso, you know, stuff like cologne, um, sunglasses, watches, just anything that I think is an essential accessory for men. So if that's something that you're interested in, please like and subscribe, guys. I'm going to be making a lot more videos like this. Uh, but thanks for watching this video. Let's get into this cologne. Alright guys, so regarding the scent on this one, on their website they mention, um, or the way they des describe it, sorry, is enveloping warmth of fine woods with a cedar heart and notes of rock rose. Um, you definitely get a lot of cedar. The spicy scent of cumin and saffron mixed with mildly sweet vanilla. So that's what they mentioned on their website. I do want to say, in my opinion, you get a lot of vanilla. They said mildly sweet. But in my opinion, I would actually describe this more as a strong, sweet vanilla. You're def It's definitely going to be very strong on the vanilla scent. At least these wipes were. I don't know if the spray is any different. But with these wipes, that vanilla sweetness is, is going to come through really strongly. And the other thing you'll smell a lot of is the cedar. So if I had to describe this, I would say it's more of a cedar vanilla cologne. And it's a very pleasant cologne, but it's also very sweet and intense. The vanilla, the vanilla scent is intense and it's sweet. So that, that's the way I would describe it. Um, now one negative, I think with these wipes is that the cologne is very concentrated into one of these wipes. So whenever you're going to go use it, it can come off very strongly. So if you're going to use these wipes, I would recommend just use maybe like one corner or one quadrant of the wipe, you know, to spread it around your neck and all the areas where you should put cologne. But don't use too much because if you use too much, um, it'll be really strong and people will really be able to smell it and it's going to be overpowering because I when I tested it out the very first time I used the whole uh, the whole wipe the whole uh, cloth I guess and people told me it was way too strong and it was almost overwhelming so I'd like to warn you about that guys and and that's again with with this since it's in a travel size cloth it's possible that that scent, the cologne, gets super concentrated into these cloths. So maybe with the spray, it won't do that because you have more control over how much you actually put on your skin with the spray. So um, I just want to mention that because if you use this and put a whole bunch on it, it's going to be overwhelming for you and for the people around you. 
Um, I was able to smell this cologne after using the whole cloth for about 24 hours. I'm not kidding, guys. I went to bed and it smelled like that. I woke up and it smelled like that. Even after showering, when I went to bed the next night, I could smell it in my bed a little bit and it's finally gone, but it's really strong, guys. So again, I don't know if the same thing happens with the spray. I doubt it. But if you're using these cloth cloths, just use one small part of it and that should be enough now. Obviously, this is pr something like this I would keep for emergencies. I don't think I would use these cloths as an everyday way to apply cologne. I would just get the spray bottles. But again, that's one good thing about these, you know, travel size uh, colognes is that you can put them in your, you know, your EDC kit and just use them for emergencies. So that's how I'm going to use this one. Um, but overall, the scent is, is just it's really pleasant and sweet. It, I think I would use this during the fall time. Um, I really like it. But with the wipes again very strong and very intense so um i also found out that they make these um they make these travel um size packets in their other scents the cypress and vetiver and the azure lime so i'm, I'm really going to look forward to trying those two i'll probably get the travel size in those i won't i won't buy the bottles just yet with the spray cologne i'm going to try the travel size um, but I'm really, I'm really looking forward to trying those. If you guys have tried any of the other colognes, let me know. If you've tried the spray, let me know too. If you think that one's not as intense. Um, but yeah, guys, I really like, again, I love Parasso. I love their products. This cologne is great in small quantities with the wipes. Just be careful with that. Um, I'm going to try the green one next, I think, and then the blue Azure Lime. So, but yeah, guys, leave some comments. Let me know if you have tried any of their other colognes or if you have any other recommendations for other colognes I should try. Let me know. Um, and again, also something else I should mention that I like about these is that they're cheap. $10 for travel size, you know, um, Clones like this, that's not that's not a bad deal. Even the bottles, those are about $30, 36 for the green one. That's a pretty good deal. Cheap colognes. Sometimes, you know, cheap colognes um, smell good. There's nothing wrong with them. I had a crema one that smelled really good once. Uh, I think it was their bourbon one um, or their distiller's version. Something I, I don't remember. It had something to do with the distiller's in the label, something like that. Anyway, um, yeah, guys, that's really all I had to say about this Parasso cologne. Let me know what you guys think. Please like and subscribe, guys. I'm going to be uploading more uh, videos here pretty soon about other soaps that I found, more shaving products. Um, yeah. So, again, guys, thanks for stopping by. I'll talk to you next time. Have a great day.